Hey folks, welcome back to another video. Do you know what I find one of the biggest drawbacks in VR? It's the fatigue that it gives and kind of makes you quite tired. Plus people that have come from a long day of hard work don't really want to stand for another few hours. Or some people have difficulty standing at all. Well, have no fear, Wackman is here. Today, we are going to go through the best games that you can play seated, as well as a pro gamer tip on what you can do to make your seated experience even better. So, if you enjoy the video and find it helpful, then please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Talking about Pro Gamer, remember we will be announcing the winner of the winter giveaway later in this video. However, if you've missed out on this giveaway, don't worry, as the Whack Miss giveaway is starting right now. Now, I know some of you people may be receiving your Oculus Quest this holiday, so again, I'm going to let the winner choose any game they want on the Oculus Quest. Hopefully, we can make someone's Whack Miss better. To enter the giveaway, just like the video, subscribe to the channel, put on bell notifications and comment hashtag wackmas21 down below. Well, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so I want to give you a tip before jumping into the games. Now since we will want to be seated when playing these games, we will still need to use our arms and they'll probably flail about. But the armrests can come in the way and potentially even hurt us since we won't be able to see the armrests. So I found a great solution where this won't be a problem, which are armless chairs or office chairs where the armrests can be moved out of the way. Now you can do this to your own chairs if you wish, but if you aren't in the mood of destroying your chair, I've linked some really nice ones in the description that hopefully aren't too expensive for you. Okay, now let's get into the games. Now these games are ones that are actually made for playing while seated or close to it. There are loads of other games that have a seated option, and if you want to see the best ones of them, let me know in the comments. Number 1. Moss Now this is one of the best seated games as there isn't even that much movement required, as you play this more like a platformer game. In Moss, you are a spirit of sorts and are here to help the protagonist of the story, Quill, who is a little mouse. You will be known as the reader, probably because you're reading the tale of Quill. This further is emphasised during the game story moment, as you will appear back in the library and flip the pages as short story segments unfold. At the end of each story segment, you'll flip over a page and get sucked back into Quill's world. Moss is essentially a platformer game with a lot of puzzles that you will need to interact with. But there is also about 50% action where you will have Quill fight like a little ninja mouse. To be honest, you can't really appreciate the game until you play it. With the interactions with Quill and the relationship you build with him, this is a fantastic VR experience, let alone a seated one. Number 2. I expect you to die 1 and 2. Have you ever wanted to be a secret agent spy? Well, at least the part where they get caught and put in a room alone to figure out a way to escape at the last possible moment. Well, here's your double chance to do so, with I expect you to die 1 and the newly released second part. To be honest, these are some of the best games on the quest just from an enjoyment perspective. The games are technically like an escape room style game where you need to solve puzzles to be able to get out alive. And the whole game is played seated, but you are able to interact with everything in the level as you have telekinesis, allowing you to pull in items like in Half Life Alex. There's also a lot of funny British humour in the game. And the game also expects and relies on you trying out different things because you're in VR to actually solve the puzzle and get out alive. Personally, I would start with the first game and if you enjoy it, try out the second one, as they're both very similar to one another, but they are the best in their genre. Number 3 Demio. Did you ever want to play Dungeons and Dragons in VR? Well, you're in luck. It has been made and it's called Demio. This is the perfect multiplayer board game RPG dungeon crawler. Now that was a mouthful. Or you can just say D&D &D in VR. You are able to play alone if you wish, but it's nowhere near as fun. Or you can get into a group of four. There are a lot of people usually playing online, so you shouldn't really have a problem finding some randoms. You play a campaign by fighting through the dungeons with one out of four characters. You have the guardian, the sorcerer, the hunter or the assassin. There's a big element of strategy in the game that you need to talk through with your teammates as each character has its own strengths and weaknesses. The graphics in the game are fantastic and the animation is great as well as the voice acting is pretty cool. This is especially great for people that need to be seated as the game sessions are long so everyone will be seated. However, they've also added a save feature now. So if you enjoy these type of games, this is one of the best ones on the platform. Number 4. Poker Stars VR do you want to play poker but not lose real money? <laughs> well, in Poker Stars VR you can play to your heart's content with people online. Not only that, with the virtual money you can win, you can also buy props to show off how cool and rich you are. There is full interaction with your cards as you would expect in a VR game, so you have a great time. The developers also keep updating the game and keep adding more content such as new game modes, even allowing you to play against a dealer. Now this is one of the best poker card games in VR and it's absolutely free. Plus, you can play the whole thing sitting down without any issues, as that's how you're supposed to play in real life as well. Number 5. Ven VR Adventure Now this is a single player platformer. It is a game similar to Moss. Considering in Ven VR Adventure, you are also controlling a cute little companion who actually does all the work. You also have some interaction with Ven, such as stroking his head, but the game seems more like a VR version of Crash Bandicoot, where you're jumping over obstacles, breaking boxes, and all the other platformer type stuff, which isn't a bad thing at all, especially for fan of these games. 
The game is initially quite straightforward, but eventually gets quite challenging with boss battles as well. There are around 12 levels to complete, with each of them ranging from 15 to 30 minutes to complete, so you do get your money's worth. Plus the whole game can be played sitting down, like you would do in a 2D game, but the VI element really brings it to life. Number 6. Warplanes World War 1 Now this is the best flight game on the Quest platform. It has two main campaigns, but within them there are hundreds of missions ranging from simple to more complex, such as destroying a blimp or taking on hordes of planes. There are also 18 playable planes that are quite varied from one another, such as bombers, scout planes and many more. You can even train pilots and build a squadron, so you can just man the guns if you want. There's a full progression system as well as varied locations with a day and night variant, as well as weather changes. Plus, the best part is that apart from the single player, there's also multiplayer with co-op and PvP options, which can be a blast to play with your friends. This is literally like playing the World War 1 equivalent of Star Wars Squadron, but it is relatively cheap in comparison. You can even fly planes with the arcade controls or go with the simulation options for those that want a realistic flight experience. This is a fantastic game for any flight fan. Plus, since you'll be in the cockpit for most of it, it's a perfect game to play while sitting down. Now, just be careful if you do get motion sickness, as this one can be quite intense if you don't have your VR legs. Number 7. Space Pirate Trainer Now, this is a great one if you just want to sit in one place and let all hell break loose. As in Space Pirate Trainer, you will be mainly in one position and a wave of enemies are coming at you that you need to take down. Now, this was one of the first wave shooters for VR, but to this day, it might be still one of the best ones. Now, there is a lot of side-to-side -side movement that you might need to do in the chair to dodge the bullets coming at you, so just be careful, especially in the epic boss battles. Now, before you actually buy the game, make sure you try the demo, as it will give you the full experience of what it will be like, and it's pretty epic. And then if you're okay with the movement and able to play it safely sitting down, then it's a great one to buy. Number 8. Pistol Whip Did you ever want to feel like John Wick? Well, the shooting part, not the constantly being chased by everyone in the grandma. Well, here's your opportunity to be a badass assassin. Now, this is a rhythm shooting game, and it appears to be a hybrid of Super Hot and Beat Saber, where you kill enemies to the beat of the music. Although that being said, it's not really a requirement to kill enemies to the beat of the music, unlike it is in Beat Saber. This game does make you feel like John Wick in the nightclub scene from the second movie, if you've seen that. So, you stay in one place whilst the scene moves towards you. This can feel a little jarring if you haven't got your VR legs, but it's not that bad. Plus, because you aren't actually moving, it can be a great one for people that want to play seated. Although, please know that because of the extremely fast pace and surprising large amount of head movement required to dodge the slow moving bullets, it can also wear your upper body out. The graphics are also polygon in nature, similar to super hot but because of the fast paced gameplay you don't really notice. Plus the developers have added so much free content including a story mode which is incredible. Honestly this is a fantastic pick up and play game for anyone. Number 9. Robo Recall Now Robo Recall Unplugged is a port from the PC version onto the Quest. It is the full game that has been ported which is fantastic. Robo Recall is basically a wave shooter but the best wave shooter I have ever played. The fun you have in this game is second to none, with different weapons from shotguns, pistol, machine guns and handguns. That being said, there is a noticeable downgrade in graphics, but it's only noticeable if you have played the game on the PC counterpart. If you have not seen the PC version, then the graphics are amazing. The most fun you will have in this game is catching bullets and throwing a back on the enemy. You can even catch rockets and throw them back. It even has some fun boss fights and a varied amount of enemies. This game is great, since you will need to dodge, grab and smash enemies. But because the movement is through teleportation and the enemies generally all come right next to you, it's easy to play sitting down. The soundtrack in the game is great as well as the humour. There is a short story which is enough to keep you moving forward, but to be honest, the main appeal to the game is the actual gameplay, which has to be experienced. Even someone new to gaming will pick it up very quickly and have a blast. I highly recommend getting Robo Recall Unplugged. Number 10. Ultra Wings Did you ever want to be a pilot and just fly from different locations using different planes? Well, here's a chance to do so. Ultra Wings is a great semi-flight simulator, where it's not that difficult to actually fly the planes, but it's still rewarding. You can unlock different planes and locations by playing the game and completing the activities. There are in total around 4 different planes and 4 different islands to progress through. Plus, you get a gun where you can shoot at targets, but the targets are generally balloons and things along those lines. Although, I'm not sure how that got through the TSA. To be honest, the graphics are a little cartoony, but the flying is still enjoyable, especially for a seated experience. Overall, it's a fun game if you enjoy flight simulators, but don't want to go all at war with warplanes. Number 11. Phantom Covert Ops Now, if you want to play a game seated, then this one is perfect for you, as this game was actually made to be played seated. Although I have to be honest, when I first heard of this game and that you will have to be in a kayak throw the whole game, I was quite skeptical. However, this game is extremely polished and well designed. The developers have done a great job on it. It can also be a bit of a workout for your arms whilst paddling. But talking about paddling, it's fully in your control of how fast you want to go and how you take your sharp turns. 
But the best part of the game is the stealth and shooting mechanics. It's basically like playing Metal Gear Solid in a kayak. Now the story is around 6 hours long depending on how you play. And there are also challenge modes to keep things interesting. Overall it's actually a really fun experience if you enjoy stealth type of games. Now just before we get to our final few games, I would like to announce the winner of the Wackman Winter giveaway is... Congratulations! Please contact me on my Discord to claim your prize. Remember, the Wackmas giveaway is on now, so make sure you're in it to win it. Number 12. Epic Roller Coasters Have you ever wanted to go on a roller coaster at a theme park but have difficulty? Then this is the best alternative. The feeling you get with this game is actually like you're on a roller coaster. And for a more immersive feeling, I recommend you get a fan and have it blowing at you. It also helps with motion sickness. First, let me warn you though, if you're prone to motion sickness, probably avoid this one. If you aren't or want to try it anyway, then great, you only have your lunch to lose. Epic Roller Coaster is actually a pretty fun experience. It's the perfect experience for sitting, but be warned, it really feels real. So make sure you're secure in your chair as inside the headset you are going 80 miles per hour on a roller coaster going through loop to loops trying to shoot the targets to get a better score. Now when you are in the game you actually get the feeling that you're in danger in a real roller coaster. So you get that butterfly feeling in your stomach. There are a few different maps that are free but any more you do need to pay for. Personally I don't think I would really pay for any. Now the graphics in the game are reasonable but could be better. Although this is still a great game for a fun experience and it's just something you should try out. Number 13. Day Sim. Do you like games like Civilization 5 or Sims, but you wish that you could grab the little people yourself and crush them with your hands or fling them across the world because they looked at you funny? No? J just, just me then? Well, if you're a sadist like me, or an angel out to help humanity, then you will love this game. Where it's similar to Civ 5 or The Sims, where you'll be able to help civilization develop or make their lives difficult. By throwing them in the ocean, striking them down with lightning, sending tornadoes to rip up their homes or creating fires to punish them. But the main game is to help people, but only the good ones, as there will be people actively trying to rebel against you. It's actually a really interesting and fun game, and price really low. But you can teleport in the game so you don't have to move apart from just picking up things. So you can either put your boundary higher where you're sitting, so you don't have to bend down too far. <laughs> Number 14. Cards and Tankards Well, here's one for someone who loves card games such as Magic the Gathering, Yu-Gi-Oh, Pokemon or any other. This is a new VR card game, but it's still a lot of fun where you get to open new card packs and get new monsters in your deck. Plus, there's an experience and leveling up system where you earn money for every game you play. You can either play against the AI, which I actually really enjoyed, and it has ranging difficulty levels, or test your skill up against real people in PvP. This one isn't that well known yet, but I think it will pick up, especially with the competition being so expensive. So, being free, it should be a no-brainer to pick up and play. Plus, because it's a card game, there is hardly any movement, so you can sit back, relax and enjoy the fun. Number 15. Cosmic Flow this is actually a bonus one that I'm including, as it's not really a game per se. Now if you're tired of the action and adventure, and just want to relax, then Cosmic Flow is perfect for you. To be honest, there isn't that much to say about the game itself, other than if you're having trouble winding down and relaxing, then this is a fantastic one to go to. You put on your headset, start the app, and be mesmerized from the beautiful color, patterns, and calming music. My wife and I were actually falling asleep from being so relaxed. This is a great one for older people as well, such as parents or grandparents, as there is literally no movement, but because of how great it looks, even you young whippersnappers will definitely enjoy it as well, and will certainly be in awe. Now the best thing about this is that it's absolutely free, but I don't know how long it will be free, so make sure you pick it up straight away. Well, there you have it, the best games you can play sitting down on the Oculus Quest. I hope this list allows some people that want to experience VR that have difficulty standing or moving about to be able to still enjoy it. Now like I mentioned before, there are a lot of other games that were created for standing but have been given a seated option. If you want me to go through the best of them, let me know in the comments and I will make that. But in the meantime, just make sure you check out the supported player mode section of the game on the game listing, as that will tell you if you can play seated. Also don't forget to enter the giveaway. Well thanks for watching, have a great day, stay safe and see you next time. Thank you.